Sometimes a mountain is really a molehill. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about this restaurant in Houston, Texas called the Turkey Leg Hut. Now, recently they introduced a new dress code and some are screaming racism. And I think those that are making those allegations forget the fact this is a black owned business. They forget the fact that you have not one, but two black people in the logo, in the signage, outside the business. And they also forget the fact that they have a nearly 100% black clientele. They forget all those things or they're ignorant of those things. And they see a dress code and they say racist. Now, why would a dress code be racist? I mean, is it only black folks that dress inappropriately for a restaurant? Nobody else does that. There's a word for assuming something like that. I forget what it is. But anyway, let's get into the dress code to see what it says here. So we can really just break it down and get on into it. All right. Now, first, there is a statement to read from Turkey Leg Hut right here on the right hand side. New dress code policy. Please know that we are a family friendly restaurant that serves all ages from children to adults daily and putting this dress code in place was necessary to ensure that all parties from our guests to our staff are dressed appropriately when in our establishment. So what does that mean? All right. Let's say you got mom, dad, two kids, you know, a three-year-old, five-year-old or whatever. Maybe they don't want to see some of these, you know, uh, knuckleheads in here halfway naked, standing on tables, twerking, booty flying everywhere. Maybe they don't want to see that. Maybe they want to have a nice family gathering because, you know, black folks do have families, right? You know, mom, dad, kids, maybe that does still happen, but I digress. They continue, unfortunately, due to the attire of some guests, we were forced to put this new policy in place as we remain committed to ensuring all guests are comfortable while visiting us. We're not a club. We are a family-friendly restaurant and will continue to maintain our standards as we welcome everyone in Turkey Leg Hut. We appreciate your cooperation and look forward to having you visit us. Now, before I get into the specifics over here that we're going to really just dive in, before I get into that, I'll tell you a little bit about me. Before I started doing YouTube and the political commentary, I designed a lot of club flyers. I did club flyers probably about four or five years so if you go to the shopping mall and come outside and there's flyers on your windshield, I'm responsible. I wasn't the guy putting it right there. Shout out to y'all who were doing that. You guys know who you are. But I was the guy designing it and printing it and getting it to the guys that had put it on your windshield. So I've designed plenty of actual club, not restaurant. Restaurants too, but clubs where in the, on the flyer there was a dress code. I've designed strip club flyers with dress codes on them. I'm talking about ghetto. I'm talking about like the club is so ghetto. I would advise you to wear a bulletproof vest inside and outside because you might must run to catch a stray or get targeted because it's that ghetto out there. Ghetto strip clubs in the hood, all black, everything, black owner, black clientele, black staff, dress code. No, no game banging, no, no bandanas, no white tees. Um, no athletic gear. Like I've done all types of dress codes on the most ghetto. I'm talking about clubs so ghetto they would get shot down after a week because they're shooting outside. They're in there selling heroin. I've done all these flyers and they all had dress codes at clubs. So if you have a restaurant, you sit down, eat with your kids and stuff like that. It'd be the same thing. If not, Worse because they don't want the club riffraff to be in there acting the fool. But anyway, let's get into the actual thing over here. Okay, so it says no excessively revealing clothing. That's something that it, it should be clear. But like I said, you ain't trying to be eating your chicken wings or your turkey leg. And you got this girl over here just twerking. You don't want that. And it includes distress or ripped clothing that is revealing. Shorts must cover your entire bottom. You know, this is not a race specific thing. I'm living out here in Tennessee, right? I was in a 7 Eleven. Nah, I was in Walmart. True story. I was in Walmart going through the little self checkout, and there was a white couple. They appeared to be pretty young, pretty ghetto, too. And the girl 
had on shorts where like the bottom part of her butt was out completely, completely out, just like it was nothing. I've seen people wearing leggings with no drawers on, just just stuff everywhere. It's like, is this nudity? And this is an exposure. You need to get locked up. Big rocks, little rocks. I've seen that just in Walmart. So I can imagine what some of the club people that go to a restaurant wear. And it, it's not race specific. I've seen black, white, Puerto Rican, Kenny Stripe, everybody do this. But I continue. No obscene language or baggy clothing. That's something else. People cussing and fussing and carrying on loud. Again, imagine you're just a regular black family. It's you, your wife, your husband, or whatever, your kids. You sit down having a nice family gathering. Here comes table over here, and they, they're doing a the club behavior. You know, like I say, I did a lot of club flyers. I've been in pretty much every club in Virginia in the 757, 7 City area. I've been everywhere. I've seen it all. I've seen the black clubs, white clubs. All, it's all kind of the same type of environment. They're drinking, acting up. Uh, hollering, yelling, acting rude, just not really the kind of behavior you want to have kids around, right? So you cussing, fussing, fighting, that's something else because a lot of the foul language, a lot of the the baggy clothes, the the people that don't dress properly, that don't behave properly, it, it's all kind of the same. You can avoid a lot of the riffraff and a lot of the trouble if you have a dress code, you see, so, yeah, if I'm out with my family, I ain't trying to have nobody cussing and fussing right next to me. That's just not a good environment for me to be. You're going to lose business like that. And then you become a club, which is not what you are. But anyway, no, excessively baggy sacking pants. Yeah, of course. We don't want that. No inappropriate graphics or language on clothing. People wearing shirts that got the F word on it, B word on it. You know, it's just not right for a restaurant. You're not going to be going in the Olive Garden like that. I hope, I hope you're not. You know, you got some little kid birthday party. They're coming out there clapping and you blowing candles all of a sudden. Yeah, F that B, whoop de whoop. It's not, it doesn't really mix. Take that down to the shake joint around the corner, not here in this family restaurant. But we'll keep on moving. No house attire. Shout out to Monique um, from the Parkers, from Precious. Shout out to her. Because she was saying she was talking about that. And Monique is black. She's like, look, I don't want to see my black sisters in the airport with bonnets on. This is these are pajamas. I'm not trying to see all your goodies. I'm not trying to see your your sleep attire on a jumbo jet. I'm just not trying to see that. Right. So the subhead here says this includes wave caps, do rags, house shoes or shower caps. Bonnets, um, slippers, pajamas, dress like you about to go somewhere. Now, I've seen all kind of memes, and they're trying to clown in. It's talking about, oh, just the dress coat's too strict. You got to wear um, a suit and a tie to pick up some wings. It's not even about that. It's about don't dress like you just got out to bed five minutes ago. You didn't take a shower, brush your teeth or nothing. You just went to the restaurant, and you're in there cussing, carrying on with a bonnet on, bandana you know flashing gang signs that's just not the wave what i have on right now i have on a pair of levi jeans i have on this green polo shirt and my hat i'm good to go i'm just i'm just appropriately i, I wear this pretty much every day this is a cheap outfit the shirt might have been five dollars i'm not a fashionista you understand what i'm saying i got the hat from ablmerch.com and it costs a real super a lot of money you don't have to be dressed like you're about to go to court but at the same time you're not in bed still, but I digress. No exposed undergarments, including sports bras, bras, panties, or any garments resembling these items. I've seen that a lot as well. Again, back to the Wilder World curve. For matter of fact, I saw it in Tarjay. The girl had on a bonnet and some sheer pants. You're able to see her panties clearly. I don't want to see that. You got little kids in there. And they're like, look at that, mommy, look at that. I can see your, I can see your underwear. You don't want to see that in a restaurant. And again, they're on tables dancing, loud, cussing, fussing, fighting. And you got all kind of stuff popping out when they start fighting. Because when you have no dress code or a lax dress code, you kind of invite that crowd there. Black folks don't really want to be around that unless they are that. 
and unless you're trying to say that everybody's trash and fighting and carrying on that's black, then you got to do with that. But I don't agree with that. And I think the majority of us don't agree with that. Unfortunately, when you don't have dress codes, when you don't have any kind of rules and everything's allowed just to happen. And if you say something is wrong with it, then you're racist. Then they become the, they, they, they become the face of what black people are. So then when there's any kind of prejudice or racism, it's like, well, whose fault is it? Is it the fault of those that are prejudiced, racist, or is it the fault of those that represent us in a negative way? You see what I'm saying? But we'll digress. No swimwear of any kind is allowed. That should be pretty self-explanatory right there. Don't go to a restaurant with your bikini on or you got no shirt on with your swimming trunks and your stuff flying around. It's just not right. Dress normal. But you know what? A lot of people don't know how to dress. They don't even know what dress normal is. They think dressing normal is, you know, exposing the high parts and with ripped pants to show half the butt cheek. That's what they believe dressing normal is. So they just don't know any better. And this right here is the way to really break it down and say, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. I think that's right on point. Shout out to them. Bravo. Like I said, they're a black owned business. And if I got a picture of them, I could put it on the screen. Now I think somebody said, oh, well, she has on ripped clothes. She's not um, obeying the the rules. It's like, come on, like, let's be for real. We all know what she means. We talking about ripped clothes and, uh, you know, too revealing. When you're talking about some of these jeans that got rips, like on the butt, like Prince with his butt out with the chaps on, you're talking about stuff like that. I've seen that. I have seen that with my own two eyes out in Walmart. Like it's nothing. It's just like, oh, this is how I dress. It's no problem. I've seen it. I've seen it every day. It's not even, it's not even uncommon, unfortunately, and it needs to be a dress code. And as I close, I want to say this. When you're talking about these uh, clubs, restaurants, a lot of times the dress code is implemented by black folks because most of us don't want to be around that. If you want to be dressing like that and behaving a certain way, go to the little hood spots. They exist. And like I said, even in the most hood, hood, hood spots, there's dress codes. No white tees, no athletic gear of any kind, no bandanas, no fitted hats, um, no game banking, no, no colors, no bandanas, no red, no blue, no green, no whatever. Okay, that's typical because, I, like I said, I've done – Party flyers, club flyers for years, about five years straight, no break. Every single flyer had a dress code on it. And if there wasn't one, I can guarantee you they were not going to be around for long because what that says to the, the, the riff raps and the hood rats, oh, we can go there and do whatever we want. It's lit. And then they go there, do whatever they want. Somebody end up dead. They close it down and then it's over. If you put any kind of money into it, you didn't pretty much lost your shirt. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Is it racist to have a dress code for a restaurant, a club, a bar, a casino, anywhere? Whatever your viewpoints on that are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I stand. No, it's not racist. It's just, it makes common sense to have something like that. You don't want to invite the wrong crowd. You want to have a nice crowd that can enjoy themselves without having to do with the riff of society. Race is not even a thing. I've seen every race do this. Like I said, I was in Wally World. The young white lady was in there, the whole butt out, like it was nothing. Um, I was in Tarjay, the young black girl, whole butt out, like it was nothing. It's not a race-specific thing. That's just what it is. Most black folks, most upstanding, righteous black people don't want to be around that. And are we wrong for that mind state? I think we need to have more of that mind state because that would cut down some of this senseless crime and violence. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.